Okay, so I'm just going to introduce you to um, the workflow in terms of using the IVIS machine in terms of a lung assessment in a potentially contaminated area. What we've got is we've got a clean and we've got a contaminated um, box. We need to be on the table outside the room for you to access on leaving the room. And the other things that you may need to access is hand sanitizer, clonel wipes, and spare gloves if for any reason you've forgotten to double glove, uh, remembering that we never cross over from dirty to clean and going back and round in circles. If this has been cleaned before, um, before going into the room, ideally someone will have um, cleaned this and this should be a clean unit. However, I think I would make the default assumption that it should be cleaned again using the clonel wipes. So uh, an extra clean before going in to further reduce your risk of contaminating patients in the room is always preferable. The IVIS comes with a curved array transducer and a, a portable handheld unit. To unlock the screen you move slide it to the side and then to scan we literally just press scan and hopefully it should It's not being intuitive. So again, if you need to touch the top, so it's scanning there. Generally what I'd recommend is this doesn't have a lung preset, so just use the abdominal preset. You can adjust depth by pressing on the side and scroll wheel. This will bring it down further depth or the minus button at the top will take it down to uh, a shallower depth. Usually about 12 centimetre, 10 to 12 centimetres will be about right for doing a lung scan. You can then proceed into the room with your equipment and proceed to do your assessment with the other equipment that you may use. And then we will um, have made our assessment, scanned the various different zones that we need to do. And then we need to move to what we would do when we leave the room. Leaving the room, what we're going to do is we're going to power off the unit. should hopefully shut down and then it gets placed into the dirty bin on leaving. We remove our outer gloves which in theory into the bin. We'll leave these as a clean uncontaminated gloves. We can perform hand hygiene on our gloves and use a number of clonel wipes, one to pick up and one to clean. So we will pick up our unit, be able to clean the ultrasound as we go, and place it from dirty. Maintaining our workflow from dirty to clean, making sure that we leave all crevices and then it can go into the tub wet, maintaining an optimized 60 second contact time. This is not ideal, it is not pristine clean and that's why I would recommend a repeat clean on uh, um, entering the room uh, for your next patient. Thanks very much.